Following the spilling over of tensions in Nigeria after the killing of social media activist Ibrahim Mohamed, the MP for the constituency, Bawa Brahma Mohamed, made a statement on the floor of the House. He spoke to City News about his demands for a probe into the acts of violence. Fire live bullets into a crowd means that the soldier deliberately did it. And we have a footage showing the soldier squatting and shooting into the crowd. That mean, meant that, I mean, we cannot use our taxpayers' money to buy uniform for you, pay you, buy guns for you to come and kill us. So I'm calling on the uh, military high command to institute a probe. The Minister for National Security and the, 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 the uh, Minister for Defense to institute a probe into the shooting incident that occurred this afternoon in, in my constituency because it's uh, highly uncalled for. And that has exacerbated the already polarized security situation in the constituency. The Minister for Works and Housing, Francis Sensubuachi, was on the floor of Parliament to answer questions from Klotikoli MP Zaneto Ajman Rollins on dredging the Odo River to prevent flooding on the onset of the rains in Accra. I would like to inquire from the Minister whether he's aware that the Ministry, his predecessor, committed to starting the project in October 2020. And since he has just mentioned that the project will not start, can he give us a timeline with regards to when the project will begin? The project was faced with some challenges, and that is why they were not able to meet that deadline. And I, since I've been the Minister, I've been working very hard to make sure that the project is started in earnest. And I want to assure the, um, the Honourable Member that currently procurement processes are going on to procure the consultants and contractors. I'm very hopeful that by December we should be able to start the project on ground. Earlier, the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbin, received a private member's motion from eight members of Parliament to criminalize LGBTQ activities. There was a prayer session before the speaker addressed the gathering. This bill will be a reference point for many, many countries. It's very detailed, very comprehensive, and really a bill that you can refer to as justice. It's gone in accordance with all the provisions of our constitution, our laws, and our international obligations. It is a law that even those who are against it will find it difficult not to accept it. And I want to assure all of you that we will create room this week for the bill to be presented to Parliament officially.